Bob Van Rossum, president of Market Pro. We just wrapped up an executive search with a great client and hired their first chief marketing officer. Right, so it's about a hundred and twenty million dollar organization, and really believe from who they are, what they're doing, his, what their history is, that they can get to a billion dollars. And absolutely, as as we've had the opportunity to engage and work with them, believe that that's possible. Right. And historically, they've hired director level, VP level marketing people that have gotten them to where they are, but they realized to get to the next level, we need a more senior corporate citizen in here. And so we're going to hire our first true CMO. And really a strong culture, very people first culture, um, very empowering culture. And they wanted to make sure that that came through in the interview process. And so as we went through our standard kind of search intake meeting with them, we got to the end and I said, you know, okay, one of our final questions is always, what's your interview process gonna be after we present candidates your way? And HR person came back and said, hey, you know, we're, our typical process is we will do first round being HR. And then we have multiple other rounds. The CEO is towards the end because he's very busy. We wanna protect his calendar, which is pretty standard. And then at the end, we'll have a presentation. I said, okay, so let's look at that, right? I mean, that's your normal process. And I understand that because typically that first round HR interview includes vetting, right? It is determining whether or not this person's a good fit. But now that you're engaging with us, we're gonna take them through two rounds of interviews. That first round is a deep dive into marketing, marketing strategy, marketing understanding of whether it's brand or digital, wherever this organization was looking for is their most important part, but really taking our expertise as former marketers and making sure that this person is an A-plus marketer. If they pass that, then we take them through a second round interview on culture fit, leadership, and make sure we feel like they're going to engage well and do well within the organization, both for the candidate and client's benefit, right? So now, after they've spent all that time with us, it's really important that we get them engaged with the hiring manager as quickly as possible. And they were really aligned and they agreed and saw the value and benefit of that. So what we agreed to do was now have the CEO be the first round interview, which is what it should be, right? The hiring manager is the first point that this individual meets. And then we also took the two peers of the future CMO, other direct reports to the CEO that were doing a panel interview with this individual and move them to second round, right? So you're really bringing out senior leadership first and giving the candidates the opportunity to get to know the organization from that perspective. Third round was with HR. Really now we're digging in and focusing on culture fit. Do they agree with our assessment that this person is aligned well with the organization? Fourth round was with two direct reports that will ultimately report to the future CMO, which I generally don't think is a good idea, right? I don't like having direct reports interview their future hiring manager. In this case, the CEO did a good job of aligning the process and the expectations, which can be tricky. The final round was a presentation of the candidates to the senior leadership team. And in addition to the CEO giving an hour up front for the first round interview, he also gave 30 minutes to every candidate to make sure that the they were properly prepared and understood the expectations of the presentation and then obviously he was on every presentation right so all of this unfolded over a two-week period right because the other thing that we were able to get to and and have buy-in from them on and was you know we're going to present you a candidate and it's going to be really important for us to engage candidates in a way that shows them how important hiring is and engages them in a way that shows how you as an organization make decisions. So we went ahead and set up, and this is kind of the key point, right? The first round through the presentation, when we presented a candidate, every interview was scheduled immediately. So we laid them out all over a two week period of time based pretty much on the candidate's availability. And we did that across six candidates. And the message that sent to the candidates was really cool because they all came back and said, wow, this, this role is important, first of all, and I can see how quickly this organization makes decisions, which is exactly the kind of organization I want to be involved in. I don't want to be in a slow moving bureaucratic place, right? So as the process now unfolded, right, if either the candidate or the client decided that at any point in time in the process, we're not moving forward, then you just cancel the remaining interviews and you give that time back to those people's calendars, right? 
But what we ended up having happen is four of the candidates made it all the way through to presentation, right? Post presentation, three of those candidates the client was really excited about and would have made an offer to, and they were able to make an offer to their top candidate and successfully hire that person. But flip that now to the candidate's perspective, right? Six candidates went through this interview process, four of whom made it to the presentation, all of whom based on an organization that moved quickly, an organization that demonstrated they value talent, wanted the role. And this is about a $120 million company that prior to this I had never heard of. So it's not like they were going to a big brand or that was the allure. They wanted to have this opportunity based on the way this organization conducted themselves. And the CEO had to be flexible, right? He had to say, I'm gonna spend 15 hours, a little over 15 hours of my time over a two week period focused on hiring this job and interviewing and being on presentations. And he did that and ultimately the result was fantastic. But take any CEO's calendar in any given two week period of time and tell him to carve out what's ultimately two days of time. And it's pretty difficult, but he made it work because he understood the importance and now he has an incredible CMO.